Hello everybody, Spoon of Nature here. I'm back out in the shop today. We got some rain moving in, so I thought I would spend the day in here. Seems like a good choice to me. So I got a lot of projects built up here in the shop over the last year or so. I started them, ran out of time or energy or interest, so put them to the side for later. Uh, this project here, this is a camp box that I made probably two days before we decided to use it. So it's pretty rough. I uh, just threw it together real quick and it's not pretty. So what I'm going to do today is backtrack, <clears throat> take it apart, uh, clean up some stuff, sand it, you know, kind of make it a little nicer for the campsite because that's important. Uh, you don't want to go camping and have something that looks like you just threw it together a few days before. And uh, it's a bad show. Uh, neighbors don't like it. So that's where we're at, okay? So I'm going to get some stuff around, and this is what we're going to start on. I'll just walk you through what i got to work with to start with, and then as the project progresses, what we're going to do. So, get ready. Okay, so I'm going to hold this camera by hand, so it's going to be a little shaky. I've only had two cups of coffee. So here's the front of the camp box. Here's the top. And then the sides. We'll look at one because they're the same. So this piece here, as you can see, I made that to fold out. Uh, it's got a little pin. It'll pop that in there. So now it's one piece. So what it was intended for was opening this. And then that was the brace for the tabletop. So now there's the stove. Got the open top. So that's what we got now, the doors, and there we go. That's the camp box. You know, I kept it really simple inside, I didn't put drawers, shelves, anything else other than what I needed because I wanted to keep the weight to a minimum here and be able to make it nice and sturdy. So that was my trade-off. Uh, it's pretty well packed, you can see, yeah, got the sanitizer. This is the uh, cooking instruments, uh, just assorted crap. And then, yeah, here's the dinnerware. So we'll set that up there. Uh, cooking utensils, hand soap. Right, that also goes there. Ooh, but there, the most important thing in the box, especially when you don't have one. And then, this is all the eating utensils. Come through. Then over here, just tablecloth, pots and pans, <clears throat> excuse me, extension cord. And there's a nice little hanging unit there on the door. So that's what we're looking at. Whoa, coming through. That's what we're looking at right there. That's where we're starting, and we'll see where it goes from there. Yeah, not bad. Two days, keep that in mind. Okay, so now here's the uh, stripped down model of what I'm dealing with. And we're going to be beginning with the lid and just working our way down to the doors. Uh, we're going to sand it, just paint it, touch it up a little bit, make it look nice. So first step, the lid. Okay, every once in a while I like to play this game with myself where... I'll use the uh, bit, the torque bit, to put these screws in, uh, if you can see that. And then take that bit and just hide it somewhere where I'll never find it. Because that's kind of what happened with this. So I had to block plane it down to the screws. That didn't work. So I ended up getting the, uh, the mortise bit and just drilling the holes out so I can get the, uh, the smaller bit into them. So yeah, there's that. Now we're just going to pop these off, I hope. Okay, top sanded. So now I'm going to make some cleats, put the cleats back on. I'm using something a little smaller this time. And then, uh, also using a method of exact measurement. So we'll get this cut and we'll be right back. Okay. 
Well, there's one. That wasn't bad. Okay, nailing these down with cloth staples. That's the shortest thing I could find in here. So, because cloth staples do not work well with, with big fingers, we're going to use needle nose because they're not going to feel as much pain as I am. All right, still have to put a clean underneath of this. I okay, got the level on there, but we're going to find out where the level's at. That's pretty good. So what I'm ready to do now, marking where the kickstand's touching. That'll also tell me the cleat to put on there. Yeah, it looks like we're going to take a more off the back of that. All right, so that's how that's done. And then that'll be, other than sanding that and finish the inside, that'll be done. Okay, so a little bit of, a little bit of glue kindness here. I like his stuff. Made my life so much easier. It's given it meaning and value. <clears throat> Alright, so we got the mark here where my cleat was, so I know where I'm gonna put that. It's gonna be the edge. Yeah. Got a nice little brass screw from a different project. So that's what we're gonna put it in with. Boom, boom, there we go. All right, so that's done. Um, sand that up, clean it, clean the edges up a little bit. Good cleat. So I like the uh, rough look on the outside and I'm probably just gonna stain the outside and you know, that way it does two things. Uh, it looks cool and it cuts my workload in about half. <laughs> so that seems important. Here I just put that in for the doors to close against so that they don't push in. So, what I'm thinking about doing is just going ahead and continuing that piece all the way across. Get rid of that, that'll have a little more of a, a shelf or something that can be done later. So I got the uh, persuader out. Ah, I guess I did have a screw in it. <laughs> yeah, that's all right, covering that up. So now we're just going to glue this on. A little bit there, a little bit there. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. And the old us, I guess. Okay, so <coughs> there we are. So I got this piece, uh, I cut the groove in there that's going to fit that rod and I put it, I'll put it here at the bottom that way it'll, it'll help locate that every time. So I got a little glue and I put a little screw in there now, another brass screw and you want to go slow. So everything's done fitting good as you can see. Uh, we'll get the dust out of here and then we'll be putting this on as uh, a deck slash uh, coat. So yeah, acrylic formula. So be able to seal the wood and protect it, make it look nice. So all I'm gonna do now is just coat it, coat it and stain it. It's a done project. Alright, so the last thing I'm going to do is the polyurethane, and that's the surface here is where the uh, food would be prepared, you know, cut up and all that, so I'm going to try to keep it as far away from chemicals as possible, so I'm going to go ahead and put some polyurethane on it, and that way it'll be uh, washdown proof.
Because if there's one thing my wife likes to do, that's wash stuff down nice and clean. So I got to uh, make it as sturdy as I can for her that it'll take more wash downs. So probably two or three coats of this and we'll be good to go. So. There's the hood latch. Lid, hood. Yeah. Ta da! Let's have to line it up with the latch. finished product and uh, my wife Ronnie was pretty quick to point out that the handles don't match the uh, latches or the hinges um, I couldn't find the heavy handles in the brass all I could find was a galvanized steel I'm not sure that it was worth all the uh, laughing and and rude comments she made after that about it but uh, she did point that out to me and uh, I guess it's a team effort even though it makes me want to cry to myself asleep tonight so I'm going to deal with that, <laughs> not just kidding, uh, more projects here in the shop that didn't get done and uh, we're wrapping them up pretty quick. A lot of them was just touch up finish work which is always the slowest part for me and usually the part that doesn't get done. So I'm Gary, this is Spooner with Nature and thank you for watching.